Hello and uh, welcome to this next video on um, electrical uh, repairing. In the last video, we tried to understand how the um, uh, connections from the electrical pole to the meter to the entire house uh, usually happens. So, we understood a little about house wiring and some of the basics of house wiring. In this video, we will take a closer look at one of the important aspects in uh, each of the rooms inside a house. Normally, all houses will have a switchboard in each room and the switchboard acts as the control point to control all the electrical equipments in a particular room. So, essentially the phase and neutral that came in from the mains are supplied to this particular switchboard in each room. So, in this video, we will try and understand a little more about this switchboard using a dummy board kept in front of us. This dummy board has some of the key uh, tools that we have, key components. There are sockets, there are switches placed here, there is an indicator on top, there is a bulb holder and there is a fuse placed on top and this is the bulb holder. So, typically this, these are some of the components or elements which are placed. The uh, bulb holder connection is what connects uh, to the fan, uh, to a, all the other electrical equipments here. So, we will try and understand how these are connected and how the entire circuit opens, work, works in this. So, let us uh, uh, turn around and take a look at how the connections are placed behind this circuit board. Now, typically the phase and neutral connections are very uh, clearly identified using the color of the wire. The red wire is what signifies the phase and the black wire signifies the neutral and this is common across all house wiring things to ensure that there is no confusion between phase and neutral. Now, typically all of these boards uh, can be placed with a fuse to ensure that if there is any overload, the fuse gets disconnected. The fuse is always uh, uh, connected on a series connection. The switches are placed on a series connection. They are normally placed as mentioned in our earlier video, they are normally placed on the phase line. So, it disconnects the phase and each of these sockets typically are in the in the parallel connection. So, there is a phase and neutral which are given to the sockets here. This is the same thing with the holders as well. The holder also has a phase and neutral connection to it. So, they are all on parallel connection. The indicators are usually given in a parallel connection again because they will need a phase and neutral to function properly. So, let us turn the board around and try and understand how these wires are connected. Now, at the first glance, all this looks a lot complicated. However, if you are familiar and if you can trace the wires very clearly, you will be able to understand how these connections are given. Now, there are two lines that come from the mains. One is phase and one is neutral. The phase is in red color and the neutral is in black color. So, the first task is to identify which are the wires which come from the mains. So, this is the main neutral wire that comes from the mains and this is placed at one point of the indicator and from there it moves on into the other point. So, the neutral is first placed in the indicator here and from here on it goes on into all the other components. So, from the indicator you can trace the black wire there and this black wire is connected to the socket. So, from the meter to the indicator and this is only the neutral line, we are trying to trace the neutral line first. So, we have connected it to the indicator, many a times you do not have an indicator in your house wiring board you can directly connect it to the socket in that case. So, we have connected the neutral to the socket underneath and you trace it there, the neutral is connected from there to the socket. There are multiple sockets, there are 3 pin, 5 pin and 2 pin sockets here. And we have again transferred that neutral to the next socket and finally to the third socket. So, the neutral are connected across these three sockets.
So, from the first socket to the second socket, then second to the third socket. And these sockets are normally used for other appliances such as connecting a television, connecting a radio uh, or any other electrical equipment here. So, once the neutral is gone to the third socket, from the third socket it is connected to the bulb holder on top. So, the bulb holder has one of the neutral line that is culminating at the bulb holder. So, all these are neutral connections here. Now, let us look at the phase connection. The red wire is the phase connection. So, the phase connection is first of all connected to the fuse and we mentioned earlier fuse is always connected on a series connection either in the phase or neutral. It is best in the phase connection. So, it detects the overload and disconnects the overload uh, connection if there is an overload. Now, from the phase one end goes to the indicator. So, the indicator is in a parallel connection now. So, we already had the neutral and now the phase is supplied to it from the out point of the fuse. So, from the in point to the out point of the fuse and then the other point out point from the fuse is then connected to the switches. Again, we mentioned earlier switches are to be placed in series connection and is best placed in the phase side of the wire connection. So, we have given one phase in the center and connected the phase to the other two switches also. Now, when you switch it on, the connection between the phase is forwarded again. So, the wire underneath connects the switch to the respective socket. So, when you press the third switch, it gives power to the third socket, the second switch to the second socket and so on. And so, when the power is now transferred to each of those sockets, the circuit is complete and power starts flowing out. Bulb holder is again connected to one of the sockets, the phase of the bulb holder is connected to one of the phase and that is how power then flows to the phase of the bulb as well. So, in summary, the board essentially is very clear now, the fuse is on a series connection, the indicator is on a parallel connection, all sockets are on parallel connection, holders on parallel connection and switches are on series connection. Now, this is another type of board which is used for heavy duty, heavy load equipments there and this also has a socket, a switch, there is a fuse placed there and there is an indicator which is placed there. So, when you switch it on, you will be able to check whether there is power supply coming in in the socket here. And if you place it in the uh, uh, phase line, you will be able to see the light very clearly. As you can see, this is the phase line and you can check whether there is phase coming in in it using the tester here. And you must remember, you always hold the tester this way. You have to touch the top metal portion in order to complete the circuit. And when you turn off the switch, there is no power supply that you can get in any of these points. The top uh, uh, so hole of the socket is typically for earthing to ensure that all the electrical circuits are properly earthed. We will understand earthing a lot more when we look into specific details about earthing. But for now, let us just turn around the board to see what is behind there. This is a very simple uh, circuitry. There is a phase, a neutral, a neutral comes in into the socket just as we saw in the earlier board. And then the neutral is then connected to the indicator. So, the indicator has one neutral point in it. The phase is directly given to the fuse and you will be able to see the uh, fuse getting power supply there. So, phase comes into the fuse, from there the fuse out and then it goes to the switches. Phase is always uh, where you place the switches on and then the switch further provides power to the socket and to the indicator. So, this is normally how the electrical boards are in uh, residences. Understanding the connection in a power board is very, very important for you to be able to make the correct connections in a house wiring uh, uh, plug board or a power board. We do hope you would have understood some of the key elements and some of the key lessons that you must remember with respect to series parallel connections on how they need to be connected in a circuit board. 
in residences. Thank you very much.